Good morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world, guys. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. My name is Didi Taihutu. Yes, I am the man that three years ago sold everything he had, his house, his companies, his pension, his cars, motorbikes, everything went all into Bitcoin. And then together with my family started traveling the world in this beautiful camper van. And now three years later, guys, we are still traveling the world now coming to you from Ban Thai in Koh Phangan, Thailand. Today I'm going to talk about the Bitcoin price. I'm going to show you the bullish but also the bearish outlook. Yes, the difference between people that expect 200k Bitcoin and a 70% drop. I am going to show you the, the two amazing charts that popped up to my screen yesterday. I'm going to talk about the one billion dollar worth of Bitcoin that just has been moved from one wallet who nobody knows who owns it into two other wallets. Also showing you some interesting facts about the boomers and Generation X and I'm going to end with the result of the Barcelona fan poll I just uh, participated in. I'm going to show you the result and by showing you the result I am going to try to teach everybody in this space a very important lesson in life, but also in crypto. Enjoy this episode, guys. in Copangan. Where are we at the moment? I am not going to tell you guys. I am going to show you by walking to this amazing place here in Copangan. While doing so guys I will talk you through the news of today about the Bitcoin price and everything else. We are now in the Bantai area. The Bantai area of Copangan is the area that is aligned with Tongsala, the main port, the main city in Copangan. Tongsala is where all the restaurants are where everything where all the boats arrive where all the food markets are and all everything else now we are in bantai here is a beautiful area for kite surfing it's a beautiful area to sleep in cool hostels cheap hostels that provide you of all the entertainment when you're here on kopangan because kopangan is not there to chill and to relax it's also a really cool party island Sadly, no parties now during COVID, but I'm going to show you the Bantai area so you can enjoy the beautiful views of Kopangan. It is a very windy beach, guys, which makes it perfect for the kiteboarders. I can already see a few kiteboarders preparing. I can already see a few kiteboarders on sea. I also see this beautiful sand dune, like sand dune in the sea. I think I'm going to walk across this sand dune to just give you another beautiful view of Kopangan. Yes, maybe a good idea. I will walk the sand dune, guys. While I go to the start of the sand dune, guys, I will talk to you about the Bitcoin price. Today again, I'm going to do a bullish and a bearish scenario, guys, because yesterday I received the comment that I'm very bullish at the moment. Of course, my personal opinion is that I'm bullish, but as a channel, the Bitcoin family, I want to show you the both scenarios there the bearish and the bullish scenario. So today I'm going to address both of these scenarios. If it comes to the bullish scenario, guys, we saw this chart yesterday of Art Scheveler. I don't know if he pronounced his name right, but he showed this beautiful chart where he compared the 2013 to the 2018 bull run and how that this only almost was an exact copy of all these fractals we saw on the chart, of all these triangles we saw on the chart. I'm going to walk you through this chart very shortly so you can see what he think that it could be happening let's first take the chart guys Psst, this one yes you can see now look to the left you look at 2013 yes beautiful colors on the chart i agree with you 
But if you look to the left and you see 2013 what happened and all these triangles that formed and then you look to the right to 2016, 17, 18 and all these triangles that formed, they all are almost exact copies, almost exact same movements we did. You can see that in 2013 we first started with a descending triangle, the big one from the end of the bull run downwards. Then we went into this ascending triangle which led us into this flat zone that we stayed in for 150 days, around 150 days. After this flat zone guys, we went into this inverse triangle which ended up in a short steep crash which we rebound with a V-shaped rebound form out of and that sudden crash led to a lack of certainty top and after that we broke this trend line and then we went in the parabolic rush for more than 350 days to the new all-time high in 2018. You can see all these events, all these things, all these triangles, all these patterns following up again since 2018 till now. We first started with this descending triangle after the new all-time high in 2018 that led all the way down this triangle then we went into this ascending triangle same like we did in 2013 but now in 2018 and also that time we went into this flat zone around 160 days where we stayed flat like 160 days which led into this inverse triangle and that again led into a crash what now is happening is just an exact company of what happened in 2013 guys just take a moment to look at this chart and to see exactly the timeline guys to see the amount of days that it took in 2013 from the one triangle to the other triangle and the amount of days it has taken now from 2018 till today so if we would follow this exact copy of 2013 guys this would mean that will we break that we will be breaking out soon we will be breaking out now in the second half of 2020 we will break this wide downwards trend line and from that moment we will go in this parabolic bull run again if we copy the rest of what happened in 2013 guys we will see 100k bitcoin in 2021 so i'm talking about long term longer than a year september 21 i think but then we would reach 100,000 US dollar per Bitcoin in September 2021. If we would follow the exact patterns we followed during the last bull run. Of course, thanks to Art Chevalier for creating this amazing chart and to give all these people this beautiful insight now and what could happen to Bitcoin in the next couple of months. While talking to you guys, I am already now here in the middle of the sea on the sand dune. These guys are coming here with a beautiful kite. They are going to train, I think. That is really cool here. It's a cool beach. It's a cool place to stay. If you like kiteboarding, go here in Kopangan because here is where the action takes place when it comes to kite surfing, guys. Let's see how far we can walk on this sand dune into the middle of the sea here in Bantai, guys. Um, if you look at the stock to flow chart, you know this chart I showed you many times. It is also predicting a 100k Bitcoin minimum next year, but even maybe up to 280,000 US dollar uh, Bitcoin price. On the stock flow chart, guys, we have seen the second red dot now. With the closing of the month of June, guys, and the opening of the month of July, we can see this red dot. And this red dot on the stock to flow chart is also again a sign that we will be going into this bull run look to the left on the stock to flow chart and you will see more red dots and then you can see what all these red dots have led up to do you see the red dots do you see what happened after look to the left these red dots what happened after leave a comment yes we went up we saw the second red dot flashing now on this stock to flow chart which is an amazing indicator of all the Bitcoin price history we have seen in the last 11 years, guys. This chart takes all this price history, looks to what Bitcoin has done and what it could be doing again in the future. And if you look to the left, you saw what it did. You saw what all these red dots did, to which other colors the dots then evolved. And you can also see, guys, if we do the same we have been doing the last 11 years, where we will end up. Let me know in the comments below what you think that the new all-time high of Bitcoin will be. I'm very curious what you guys think. What is the new Bitcoin all-time high price during this next 
bull run guys while you do comment give this video already a thumbs up subscribe to the channel hit this bell button and leave a comment and maybe even share it already now with your community because you're so excited about these two charts i already showed you and yes guys i am also going to show you like promised the bearish view in bitcoin because it is not all bullish there are some people that are expecting a total different outcome for bitcoin in the next couple of months and this is what i'm going to share with you guys now i'm watching this guy and this woman they're standing to practice the kite surfing it's really cool it makes me want to practice kite surfing as well maybe i should do it in one of the next couple of days or weeks maybe i need to try it because i really would love to learn something new in life and it looks like this area here is perfect to do your first kite surf lesson but if you would like to do it here in Koh Phangan, Thailand and you could combine this with living in Thailand and working in Koh Phangan, Thailand because you could spend your time here at the house of Dao where you can live and work and have fun at the same time check houseofdao.io guys if you want to have more information Hi Max Max is going to say hello here Is he going to kiteboard as well? Can he do this? <laughs> Is it your dog? Yeah. It's a nice dog, huh? Do you call it kite boarding or kite surfing? Yes. Kite surfing. Even the dog wants to kite surf, guys. I'm going to record the rest of the video here on this beautiful place in Bantai. I would love to walk a little bit further, but these guys are practicing right now. So I don't want to disturb them there because if I disturb them, guys, this kite might crash on my head. And I don't want the kite crashing on my head. If you look at the bearish outcome for Bitcoin, guys, you can see this chart, that one, yes. This chart, you can see that only once before we saw a rounded top in Bitcoin. What is a rounded top? A rounded top is when all these candles, when all these candles create this round bow, makes it like a half-shaped cup, a bow. Last time we saw this rounded top, guys, was in June to September 2014. At that time, this rounded top went into a 72% crash. It crashed all the way down, 72%. Now, this rounded top has been building up again, guys. If this theory would be right, we would crash with Bitcoin now to around 2,500 US dollar because that would be another 72% crash. So let me know what you think. Do you believe that we, can, that we are creating another rounded top and that this round the top will lead into this huge crash of 72% Bitcoin so that we all will be able to buy Bitcoin in a very, very, very low dip around 2,500 US dollars. I really don't know, but to be honest, I don't see this happening, guys. I see two managed bullish fundamentals at the moment, two managed positive signs into the market, but I just want to make you aware of what could happen as well all the TAs don't have a glass ball we cannot predict the future we don't know for sure if the bull run is ever going to come again so you need to be prepared for both scenarios the bullish scenario and the bearish scenario and the bullish scenario is showing us 100,000 to 500,000 US dollar Bitcoin and the bearish scenario is even showing us a drop to 2,500 US dollar Bitcoin did you guys see this news of this wallet one billion dollar worth of bitcoins guys was moved from one wallet into two other wallets and it was done for the cost of 0.48 dollar cents so that's 48 dollar cents that's nothing moving 1 billion us dollar all over the world for not even 50 cents that is that is huge this is exactly what bitcoin can do guys bitcoin can transact tremendous amounts of value for literally nothing there is no other option to send these kinds of amount of money for these kind of amount of costs for example gold guys you can never send that amount of gold for 50 cents that would only be picking up the phone to do the transaction would all would always would already be 50 cents guys so that's the strength of Bitcoin moving 1 billion in a split of a second I don't think it took a split of a second I think he checked he double checked he triple checked he quadruple checked the wallet address he was sending to so in a split of 10 minutes let's call it like this but 1 billion US dollar you can send this all over the world for 50 cents 
and in, 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 in like two minutes time it will be transacted the first confirmation will come in until the last confirmation comes in it will take maybe 10 minutes but then you sh but then you shifted your money to 1 billion US dollar whoever did it to the other side of the world this is the cool thing about Bitcoin and all other cryptocurrencies the speed the transparency the safety all these things combined make this the new step in the evolution of money guys this is going to be the new step in the evolution of money so this redditor came in and he claims that these billions belong to bitstamp and they, that they transacted them by, by using this custodial service bitgo so could be that these bitcoins belong to the bitstamp exchange it could be we don't know for sure but this redditor said to us okay guys i have discovered these one billion dollar worth of bitcoins belong to bitstamp and they were used in the Bitco custodial service. Let's see, we will hear more about this, I think in the next couple of days, then we'll be very clear who is the owner of this huge amount of Bitcoins or this guy, company or exchange doesn't want people to know who the owner is and then we will probably never know because that is the second feature of Bitcoin that I really like the privacy. If I want, I can hide my Bitcoins for everybody else and nobody will ever see that I'm the true owner of these Bitcoins. This is another fact that I love about Bitcoin. This is another fundamental that makes me want Bitcoin to succeed as a new step in the evolution of this money, guys. Some other really cool news, guys, that I read today was that the boomers and Generation X are investing hugely into cryptocurrency at the moment. They are doubling up their investments in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Who are the boomers, Diddy? Who is Generation X? I'm going to tell you guys because I need to Google this also every time again. The boomers are the people that are born between 1946 and 1964. Generation X people are the people that are born between 1965 and 1980. So these two generations, the more mature generations, they are now doubling up all their investments in crypto which shows all the strength which is very important because if you look at the wealth we have in the world like 80 percent of this wealth is still in the hands of generation x and the boomers because these younger generations they have the future and if they see their parents investing in crypto they will believe it is safe and they will do the same again because they already have been doing it small time now but when they start making bucks when they start finding jobs and making all these millions they will invest in crypto and not in gold because we saw in the news guys that gold is not always what it looks like yes it can have a gold color but there can be some strange metal inside yes it can be shiny yellowish metal from the outside but in the inside it can be a black rotten metal so all the generations will invest in cryptocurrencies and all these digital assets and blockchain startups in the future very very positive and the most positive part of this one is that if you go to our shop on the bitcoinfamily.com you will find amazing t-shirts with the text boomer with the b of bitcoin and then with a text below boomer that says mined in 26 may 1978 for me but the crazy cool thing of these t-shirts is that you can customize the t-shirts text below the word boomer or below the word generation x or below the word generation y or z all these texts you can customize you can make your own text you can make a year a date another text you can change it check these boomer and bitcoin generation x y and z t-shirts and maybe even order them guys because please remember like 25 percent of the profit of the sales of these shirts also go to charity by buying yourself a really cool bitcoin shirt where you support this beautiful bitcoin revolution you also support poor people all over the world and we will show this again in videos you will see and to come back to all these t-shirts guys yes of course the shirt i'm wearing to be or not to be to be or not to be is also available in a store i saw mm crypto yesterday tweeting to be or not to be belongs to Shakespeare. No, 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 no. Satoshi Nakamoto did this. It is to be or not to be. I already bought this shirt many years ago somewhere in Italy and I'm selling these shirts now as well in our store on the bitcoinfamily.com. So if you want to be or not to be, I don't care, just buy the shirt. Do you remember I bought these Barcelona fan tokens? I used these Barcelona fan tokens, guys, to fill in this poll. The poll was about which art piece 
should be hanging in the new dressing room of the Barcelona players. This poll has now ended and the result is now... The this poll has now ended and the result is now clear. Most of the people chose the same art piece I chose. It's this purplish art piece, this beautiful one. Check the picture and the text on this art piece is Tots units fem forza which means all together we are strong and if we are talking about all about all together we are strong guys it makes me think about the crypto community we as a community need to realize start realizing again because we did before but we evolved to a new community but this new community needs to start and realize that all together we are stronger stop all that fighting stop all the discussing Stop all that mud throwing to each other's projects. Work together. Together we are stronger. Together we are that strong that we can change the monetary system for the next 100 years. We are going to disrupt this bad monetary system we have been living and we grew up in the last decades. We need to change this monetary system so that everybody around the whole world will have access and equally access to this monetary system guys. This new monetary system that we as the new generations are building. We as these new generations need to work together. All together we are stronger. That's why I voted for this beautiful art piece in the Barcelona dressing room. They are a strong team. They are one of the strongest teams of the world. That is why they became world champion many times because they are a strong team and they believe in working together. We, as a crypto community, should understand these fundamentals of life. That all together we are stronger. Working together makes us stronger. So that is exactly what we need to do. We all as YouTubers need to support each other. Don't be selfish. Don't think, oh, I'm not going to share his info or his channel because he might be growing bigger than me. Fuck that. We are stronger together share each other's channels help each other with growing channels help each other to become the biggest youtube channels all over the world because if we youtubers and we social media influencers all help each other we will become the biggest social media influencing group of the whole world it's not going to be travel it's not going to be insurance it's not going to be all these other things the biggest part of all social media will then be cryptocurrency blockchain and this is what we need to reach this is what we can reach by working together help each other push each other's channels so that we all get 100,000 subscribers can you imagine if we have 10,000 of channels with all 100,000 subscribers how many people we can reach you cannot change this world alone we cannot disrupt this whole monetary system alone we need each other we need to help each other and support each other so that is what i'm doing i am posting my shout outs on twitter every day again if i use charts of people in my videos i post a shout out if i use information from any kind of project that i like i give it a shout out because i want us to become one one huge bitcoin family that is why we chose the name not because we are just a bitcoin family that's maybe how it started but now we want to evolve this bitcoin family to one huge worldwide bitcoin family i am already very thankful to for example carl the moon and mm chris that they helped me with understanding you know the fundamentals in youtube and how to grow my channel and since i've been talking with these guys and getting new ideas my channel has been growing then hope that Carl and Chris in the soon will tell their followers wow check Didi's channel as well because he's showing amazing content as well and that will grow my channel and it will not make their channel decline because people just love to have different views and different opinions and that's why people follow different influencers youtubers and if we understand this that we as all these crypto blockchain influencers need to work together and need to help each other in growing our, all our channels into new all-time highs. If that happens, if we can reach this mindset, then guys, then guys, we are one step closer into changing the whole monetary system. But this is exactly what you need to do. We need to all stand and work together. 
I want to thank you for watching this video again. I hope you enjoyed the information in the video. If you did like this video, guys, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, share the video with your friends, and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified on every new video. And please leave a comment because I just love to have feedback and I love to respond to your comments. You need to zoom out in crypto. You need to zoom in in life. You need to enjoy every single minute of the day because that is exactly what makes life worth living. Have a beautiful day and see you tomorrow again. Bye. So did you like the video? Then give it a good thumbs up. Show me your house. But my mind your can't house? get no rest. You have an amazing house. No, oh, no. Good morning. Oh, I've been down so long. That <laughs> my mind This is walking get no like rest. in a fairy tale. This is beautiful. A fairy tale oh, house no. on the beach in Bantai. This ain't easy, darling. It's hot. Because the devil's on my trail. What are you doing? You're drawing Bitcoin? He just He's drawing the Bitcoin chart. Ooh, sounds good. Oh, no. It ain't easy, darling. You know what I like the most, I think, of the house? I like this cake. That one is really cool, but this one is also blue. Wow. Oh, money, guys. Bob Marley is still alive on Copangan. Believe me, he is still alive. Magic Kitchen trading place and the Magic Kitchen <laughs> and the Magic Dog.